What's up, everyone? Here we are, another episode of the Basic Bogey Podcast. Uh, tonight, we've got the match. We've got the bracket style with a lot of crazy names that you probably would never say in the same sentence unless it is sports or charity related. But here we are. Um, we're going to go over it a little bit. Uh, TJ, give me the names of these teams again because this is actually insane. It's it's a wild mismatch of athletes and actors and comedians and so again it's four different teams two v two bracket two day event tonight is the first round we got Ken Griffey Jr. and Charles Barkley up against Bill Murray and Wayne Gretzky. I've never seen Gretzky golf. I've seen Murray golf and Murray can Murray can light it up. But I would think Gretzky can probably play pretty well. He's Not great, right. but but yeah. But I'm gonna tell you right now. I mean, now, DJ's his son-in-law. Like I, that's true. I saw a clip of Ken Griffey Jr. swing, bro. I've got. I don't even need to see him putt or anything else. Griffey. His golf swing is just as pure as his baseball swing. It's nuts. It's so smooth. He looks like he looks like a thirty year tour pro. It's nuts. So yeah, I mean, if he's if he's on, you know, because the other thing is like, obviously, it was that previous match there where it was uh, like Steph and who yep. was it? They they remember like they 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 all struggle. I think it was like Brady and Manning or something, or it was Mahomes in oh, it? Yeah, like some it was, of those. Um, Mickelson Some of them like and, struggled, which I get yeah. it. Like, I mean, doing anything uh, like YouTube golf content is tough, but then to do it live. Yeah. You know, but if, if Griffey's on, I mean, he can obviously carry Barkley. And Barkley, dude, Barkley's gotten better too over the last couple of years. Like, yes. His swing actually is like, not bad. So um, I think that all right, so I'm, taking matchup, Griff, I'm taking Griffey and Barkley in a line, landslide though. I'm, I'm going Murray and Gretzky because I just think that Gretzky doesn't. He's a winner, dude. You he finds a way to win. I think that's a much better matchup than the other matchup, but the other is uh, Nate Bergazzi and Blake Griffin. Very odd combo to me. Odd pairing. Uh, I didn't even know Blake Griffin knew what golf was. <laughs> he, he did a couple with a uh, part of my take, but it's not good. It's not. <laughs> not great. <laughs> but then the other team is an even odder matchup. Mark Wahlberg and Michael Phelps. So Phelpsy, Phelpsy can play. He's he can got play. what? Got the longest putt recorded on a tour thing, right? It's like a hundred something, something feet, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I didn't know that Marky Wall can golf. So yeah, that's. I feel like they. I just don't see how the other team wins. <laughs> Honestly, I, <laughs> I just. I think it's Wahlberg and Phelps easily in that matchup. Yeah, I but. think that if anybody out of all of them, it's probably going to be Phelps that would carry him. Maybe Wahlberg yeah. could take a putt or two, but I know Phelps can golf. Phelps is a crazy athlete. So Yeah. So I mean it's going to be some some pretty cool um obviously where it's all is live. It? Do you know do you TNT. remember where it's at? Yeah it's t- two rounds. Uh it's going to be some crazy matchups all down in West Palm Beach. And then obviously the winners are going to move on and then I believe the winning match is on Friday. So it is that like two day event. Obviously a crazy lineup some some interesting combos going to be some some interesting golf but guess who's hosting this thing probably one of my favorite sports hosts of all time who's hosting it tj ernie johnson i think that's going to be sick and there's going to be some on course commentary by some of our absolute favorites we have joey d mr cold cuts himself and fp are going to be I on I knew FP was there. I knew FP was there. I didn't know Cold Cut was there. That's even that's even no no Bobby no, no Bobby? Bobby. I don't know why no Bobby. Maybe he's too risky. Just live. I don't know. But no 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 because he's dude. When he got started, dude, he was he was PC enough. That's fine. Cold Cuts is not like no FP can FP can hang with the commentary. Yeah, but I hope FP gets some big, shots up or something. But <clears throat> that would be cool. That would be cool. But yeah, and, and so this is match ten already. It's crazy mm-hmm. to spend this money. Obviously, like those first couple being Tiger Phil were absolutely phenomenal. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I don't remember. I feel like I didn't even watch the last one. It was back February. It was, it was that singles with like Rory, Homa, <laughs> and then uh, Kang, and I think it was was it Corda. Yep. Yeah. It was. It, it was kind of lackluster because nobody really <laughs> did anything. So yeah. If if I had to say like my favorite one that I watched was, I mean uh, the first one was just the build up to that was so cool because um, that there that. was nothing like it at the time, and then not yeah. necessarily the match but when they did that Netflix Cup I don't know if you watched that, mm-hmm. um, that I thought was very cool just being a big F one fan, uh, sure, and it was. Uh, Ricky and Lando Norris were a team, which was pretty sick. Yeah, I mean Lando's going I, off. I personally season, loved but... the uh, the JT and um, or who was it? Yeah, it was Tiger and Rory, and then JT and Spieth. Yeah, yeah, that one was funny because I, I, just uh, the clip that stands out of my mind, like <laughs> Tiger missed the butt, and then Rory goes to stand up, and they go, "Yeah, you're good," and they were like, you "Fucker." <laughs> Like, it was so funny. I just and that whole match was just hysterical. I love when they like mess with each other. Yeah, um, yeah. I yeah. love the, the the matchups of the Netflix Cup the most. But I remember just being somebody in production. The whole audio video production of that was absolutely terrible. Yeah, um, it was, that was a huge letdown. But um, that was, I believe, this time last November because it was the first F one race in Vegas, and then now they're back. This yep. coming Sunday. Um, yeah, but they're back there this Sunday, 100%. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, this will be uh, an interesting one. Um, it's cool that they are kind of mixing in, like almost alternating between like the pros and then like the celebrity type things with mm-hmm. it. Um, it's just <sighs> getting that live crew for uh, celebrities sitting shots. And, and yeah. These celebrities are certainly some of them not as good a golfers as the ones that have been the previous matches. So, sure, gonna have to keep that head in a swivel, and like these balls could go anywhere. Um, yeah, I mean, some of these guys have done like the with the um, uh, was the PNC championship there with the celebrity. Oh, uh, not the PNC, the the AAC or what? I know the one he's talking. Yeah, like the celebrity one. Yeah, they the, do it the week yeah, of the sorry. the week before the Open because everyone's overseas. Yes, yeah. Some of these, I mean, I remember Blake has golfed in that. Um, yeah. I think he was in a group with Mahomes and Kelsey one of the years, and it was like, yeah. they Kelsey were like, is they not were good. <laughs> um, but, uh, you yeah, know, it'll, it'll, like you said, it'll be interesting. Different groupings, um, maybe see some extraordinary shots, probably see a lot of mediocre ones. Um, I know Murray can golf pretty well. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming Gretzky. I know a lot of like hockey players are pretty good golfers. So I think that first matchup is going to be a lot closer and more entertaining than the other one. But yeah, for um, sure. Yeah. Either way, it's going to be fun. And I like the way that they're integrating. The the biggest thing I love about golf right now in the PGA is that they're integrating these YouTube influence, like golf influencers. Like they're, they're taking advantage of it. They're not shying away from it. They're taking guys like FP and cold cuts or, um, you know, yeah. busted Jack and like all the, like when the content creators cup, like they backed it and they're like showing like, Hey, we got a whole new audience. Let's, let's, let's adapt to it rather than just, you know, pushing away. So, um, good on the PGA yeah. for that. Thanks for watching today's episode to see more of our content. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at basic bogeys on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.